Now, finally, I don't know about you, but I always wanted to fly on Concorde. It was just the ultimate in air travel, wasn't it? London to New York in three and a half hours, the height of speed and luxury at the time. Of course, that time has now passed, but a Swiss company is trying to revive the idea of supersonic travel and, in fact, make it even faster. Our technology reporter Tarek Bansley visited their headquarters in Payen, Switzerland. What we're seeing here is the pressure field uh, along the surface of the space vehicle. Julien de Millionier is one of a new generation of aerospace engineers and this is his baby, the Swiss space system saw a rocket plane. These images are so commercially sensitive, each and every shot we've used has been vetted. The company wants to avoid giving competitors any clues. The whole idea of the, the simulation here is to make sure that uh, we're going the right way, we don't um, hit the tail or, um, or anything like this. Their space plane is currently being tested in a wind tunnel and will undergo drop tests later this year. What sets this company apart from some of the other major players is what they intend to launch from this shuttle here. They're going to focus their main business on the growing demand for the launch of small satellites. Unlike most previous designs, which rely on rockets, this spacecraft is launched on the back of a modified Airbus aircraft. Once clear, its own engines take it higher to an altitude from which small satellites can be launched into orbit. Once proven, S3 says the technology could also be used for passenger flights. You take off on the normal runway, you go to 10 kilometers, like the another passenger. At 10 kilometers, you have the release of the systems, and uh, after you begin to have small vibration, and you have the boost. For 200 seconds, you have a, a big boost to go uh, at 100 kilometers of altitude. By going so high, the aircraft is able to drop down onto almost any destination on Earth. S3 says the flight time between London and New York could easily be less than two hours. If we can you know, fly 30, 35 people uh, from a point A to point B um, at Mach 3.5, Mach, Mach 4 or more, uh, then we have a, a viable business model. The company's up against Virgin Galactic. It's already sold hundreds of tickets, a quarter of a million dollars each, for its high-altitude joyrides. But currently, its launch plane's grounded after defects were found in its wings. US company Xcor's also selling tickets for flights on board its Lynx space plane, and another US company is developing $75,000 balloon trips, which take passengers 26 kilometers above the Earth. But all these rides are aimed at tourists rather than point-to-point -point air travellers. S3 hopes its initial focus on satellite launch will give it the thrust it needs to one day revolutionise passenger travel.